Hi everyone and welcome back to my second segment um, where I will be discussing uh, what I did in preparation to potty training Ariella. Uh, so point number one, buy a toddler friendly potty. Um, so I will post a video of the potty that we currently have right after this and let me quickly tell you why it's important to choose a potty um, that your toddler might actually like. Uh, so a few things to keep in mind when buying a potty. Just keep it simple. Um, make sure it's attractive enough to attract your toddler's attention. And uh, also make sure that uh, your toddler won't have an issue with climbing like onto it and off it uh, without your assistance. Because they need to be able to sit on it on their own without your assistance so keep those things in mind and make sure that uh, whatever you are buying uh, is safe enough for your toddler to use as well so here is a closer look at the potty that ariella uses most of the time we keep it at home here with us in uh, norelia but uh, she also has one in colombo and another one in candy that's not as fancy as this um so my sister actually bought this uh, for her uh, about a year ago and we just learned to use it um so this actually simulates an actual uh commode seat and uh, the whole uh toilet i mean as you can see it's even got a little flush the flush doesn't work i keep a packet of her wet wipes over here because she has just learned to wipe after herself um so i don't have to do so i don't actually have to do it for her uh, there is a padded seat and you can easily, <laughs> sorry, uh, you can easily lift this out. Point number two is to place the potty in a place that your child spends most of his or her day. So our potty is in our playroom. Um, I originally started out with uh, having it uh, in the bedroom, uh, actually having it in the bathroom, then moving it to the bedroom, and it ended up in our playroom since she spends most of her time there, and it does take her a bit of time to run from the playroom to the bathroom. So because of that, I made sure that I actually positioned it in a place where uh, she spends most of her day. Uh, so try to find a location that's comfortable for your toddler and uh, a place where they spend most of their day because uh, trust me, you might uh, reduce the number of accidents that you can have if you do that. The third thing is to talk about the potty. Um, you need to have a conversation with your toddler about the potty, how it works. If it's got a lid, you can open and close the lid and show your toddler how it works. Uh, also, you need to mimic sitting on the potty. I know this sounds a little strange, but um, small children uh, do tend to mimic what their parents do. So if you can uh, sit and show them um, how it's actually used, it would be beneficial and it would help them get used to the idea of the potty uh, a lot faster. Um, the fourth thing I did in preparation uh, for Ariella was I actually took her with me every time I used... Um, the bathroom and uh, I let her observe my toilet habits because that's where they learn to clean up after themselves and just general basic hygiene um, so that's basically their first lesson in hygiene I mean it's by observing you um, I find that that works so it's uh, definitely very very important in part of your preparation process to actually take your child with you uh, when you are using the bathroom so that they themselves can observe um, how the mom or dad are doing it and uh, they will follow um, whatever you all are doing too. Um, another thing that's very important is um, uh, something that I did was uh, let Ariella watch Coco Melon's potty song. So there's plenty of potty songs on YouTube. You can uh, pick and choose which are one that works for your kid. But uh, Coco Melon has been Ariella's favorite from the time she was a baby. So, I mean, it was easier for her to relate to JJ and uh, his journey with um, sitting on the potty. So uh, if you've got books on it and um, other reinforcement uh, material, those things would help too.